All right, guys, so as I promised you, we're gonna do um, a series once a week or so on the new Motec M1 for the 991 Porsche. really fast past something be sure to put comments in the in below and we'll definitely um, answer them so the factor ECU is very limited in its safety capabilities okay so one of the things say that it does not have that the Motec has is a lambda or an air to fuel ratio safety cut so say in like a GTR and some other factor ECU cars you can set a cut where it's, you say if it's leaner than this level or richer than this level then please limit the throttle, shut the throttles, um, let the user know in some way that something is wrong. Shit, flash the check engine light, something like that. You cannot do that in the factor ECU of the Porsche. There's no fuel pressure warning, there's no lambda warning. What does that mean? Okay, a lot of you guys run, say, VTG turbos with a meth kit. If you're running a VTG turbo with a meth kit and your meth stops spraying, what's gonna happen? Well. The factory um, fuel system is going to get taxed immediately. Fuel pressure is going to go down and lambdas are going to go lean. Your air to fuel ratios are gonna go lean. The factory ECU has no way to prevent that, to cut that, to limit the throttle, to limit the boost, to do anything about that. Your car just ends up like stopping running or injection window misfiring until the driver unit. realizes it. That's no bueno. Okay. Does, what does the uh, MoTeC ECU differ in that way? We can set up safeties for all of that, and then we can set up what does the car do based on that. If the car goes a little bit lean, more lean than any type of preset that we want to put in there or the tuner wants to put in there, we can tell it, only allow the throttle to go this far, only uh, allow torque to go to this much. Um, you know, don't allow any type of boost that's over a certain amount we, or any combination of those. We can literally respond to any action in, that the car does with any action we want and we can program that any way we want. Uh, it's very easy, it's very easy to set up and it's very easy for any tuner to do. So that's one thing that's just very important. So there's a few lifelines of an engine. Fuel is one of them and we talked about that. I can go more in depth about the factory ECU. It's one of the things that we wish definitely in the factory ECU and some of these Cobb tunes, you just can't do. So that's very concerning, uh, honestly. Um, okay, next, what else does your engine need? Oil, it needs oil pressure at all times. It's gotta have oil running to the pickup, that pickup because it's gotta go to the pump, the pump's gotta supply oil pressure to the whole entire engine for the engine to run properly. In the factory ECU, let's just say you forgot to change your oil and it's been 2,500 or 3,000 or 4,000 miles before you change your oil and your car used a little bit of oil and you hadn't checked it and it's a quart low or a quart and a half low. And you do a launch because your car makes 800 or 900 horsepower and you're racing your buddy and it sloshes oil away from that pickup tube and therefore makes it so that the pump doesn't have any oil and it can't produce oil pressure, okay? Now, don't get me wrong, that's not some extended thing where it hap usually happens for a long period of time. But there are little instances where it'll blip oil pressure out of the car. What does that do? It, de it decreases the life of the engine for sure. If not, implodes the engine if it doesn't have any oil for very long. Well, the factory ECU does not give me any type of, or any tuner, any type of ability to say, this engine doesn't have any oil pressure, shut it down. It would literally run until it just burned all the bearings out of the motor because it has no way to connect those. Now, it would end up throwing something on your dash, the factory ECU would, and you'd have to look at the dash, but it's not going to tell you if there's a little blip of oil pressure. Again, the MoTeC controls that completely. MoTeC says, what's the oil pressure? The oil pressure is preset by us, hey, at 60 PSI, at 50 PSI, whatever you want, 100 PSI, do this. Whenever it dips to this, respond this way. Not only respond this way, but respond this way this quickly. Allow it to dip for one-tenth of a second and then respond. Allow it to dip for no tenths of a second and then respond. Or allow it to dip for a full second before you respond. The tuner, and depending on the engine builder, can set that up however he wants. How can it respond the exact same way as the fueling can it respond? I can tell it to shut the throttles completely and not let the driver drive. I can tell it to not shut the throttles and just limit to say 300 foot-pounds of torque so that we can get oil pressure back to the motor. 
Um, I could shut the engine off. I could, I could literally do anything that I wanted based on what your tuner thinks is best if you've got a little blip in your oil pressure. Maybe he wants the thing to just go to wastegate. Maybe he wants to go to five PSI. He can do whatever he wants. He can respond to that in any way he wants in the ECU. You cannot do that in the factory ECU. It is impossible. So if you lose oil pressure, you possibly could lose, lose an engine. Again, those are extreme circumstances. Of course, some people are gonna say, oh, there's lots of people out there successfully running the factory ECU. Yes, 100%. If everything works perfectly, factory ECU does work. But these safety little things are major, major concerns uh, when you're trying to push the envelope uh, to, to its edge, to its limits. Next thing is safeties based on knock, okay? Let's say you get a bad tank of gas, which happens all over the United States right now. Um, the car will detonate. What happens in the factory ECU? Yes, it responds. The knock control in the factory ECU is very good. It's very sensitive. But the only thing it can do is pull timing. So the car knocks and the ECU pulls timing. And that's the, basically the limit of that. And you cannot control that in the factory ECU. I can't tell the car how much exact timing to pull, what to do in response to that knock event or that detonation event. In the MoTeC, I can set up all the thresholds of what is a detonation event, what I don't think is a detonation event based on the fact that it's maybe an aftermarket engine and it's a little bit noisier, um, you know, because it's got billet pistons or maybe it's got springs and retainers and uh, the ECU picks that up as a little bit of detonation, which isn't, we call that false knock. I can set those parameters up to make sure that I know when something is happening and then I can respond to it just similarly as I can for the oil pressure just, just like I can for the, uh, uh, the lack of fueling, I should say. I can tell the ECU to pull timing and do nothing else. I can tell the ECU to pull timing and shut the throttle. I can tell the ECU to pull boost and pull timing. I can pay, tell it to do any variation of whatever I want just by enabling that, setting my parameters up, and then giving it all of its reaction states based on what it's doing. I could even make it so that if there's just a little window of something that it reads as knock, it pulls a degree or two of timing to safe it up, and if it does it again, then I can make it close the throttles to 40% or pull the boost out of it or richen the car up. I can literally make it respond in any way that I want. So knock control, also a very big thing for your engine. I mean, everybody knows detonation kills engines. The MoTeC makes it so that you can respond to that detonation. Mm -hmm. You can do it in any way that the tuner sees fit based on what he thinks is best for his engine. So very powerful there as well. So other safeties and other things that you can do is a tuner can set up the ability, to, let's say your car is cold, let's say you crank up your car and it's cold and you go start driving it. A tuner can set up to where it only goes to a certain RPM, to just like a factory car might, like some of the newer cars, you can see the rev limiter changes based on temperature. There's a reason for that. Um, the factory ECU doesn't do that. I can make it so if it's a certain oil temperature or a certain coolant temperature, it only goes to a certain RPM, a certain boost level, a cer th certain throttle, whatever I want to do. Uh, the same thing if it gets too hot. Let's say if the oil temperatures, the intake air temperatures, the coolant temperatures start getting hot, I can pull power based on that. Very good for a road race car. If you're road racing your car and you're out there a good three quarter, a full session, the car's gonna get hot. Well, in order to protect that engine and make it so that it's not working as hard it as it be at optimal temperatures, we can pull boost, we can pull timing. We can pull throttle, we can, pull, we can do anything that we want based on any of those temperatures and so can any tuner that's tuning this setup. So that is also something you can't do in the factory ECU. So there's more. I could go into some more intense uh, scenarios, but I'm not going to. This video probably will get kind of long, but I don't want anybody to think that I'm saying, oh my gosh, the factory Porsche ECU is horrible and it can't do anything. But the factory Porsche ECU is designed to control a 550 horsepower car, not a 800 horsepower car, a 1000 horsepower car, or a 1300 horsepower car. The processors in this ECU are faster and the, the software behind it is much, much more customizable in order to control a car that is on the edge of, of a horsepower limit or on the edge of the engine limit or if you're pushing your factory engine two times is what it was designed for for the factory you really wanna have those safeties in place. You really want to know that if anything happens that's just a little bit out of, out of uh, the realm of normalcy that we can react to it. So something I highly recommend, if you're going to push a car, it's worth the money to spend. And 
otherwise it's just good information for the whole industry to, un to understand and to know. So the next video, I'm not sure what we're going to do it on yet. If you guys have suggestions, please put it in the comments. If you have questions, please put it in the comments. Even if myself or my tuner need to reply to them, we absolutely will. So thanks so much. And uh, until episode two slash three. Appreciate it, guys.